Okay, we've got deep core challenge. These movements are great for diastasis recti, very prolapse friendly. As always, how you do a movement is what makes it safe or not safe. And I highly recommend that you get my app and minimally go do core basics. That's gonna rewire your mind with the deep core muscles so you can really get the most out of each and every exercise. If you've got the basics mastered, join me for this 100 rep core challenge. All you need is something that's squishy. It can be a children's ball, Pilates ball, or a throw pillow. All right, let's get started. We're gonna come on down to the ground and we are gonna ditch our ball for now. And we're gonna roll to our side onto our back. That helps protect our core. Now what you're gonna do is march one foot up at a time to this position. This is our starting position. Now our ribs are gonna stay down. We're gonna make sure we don't have a big swooping arch in our low back. Once we're here, we're gonna inhale down into our ribs. Exhale, tap. We've got 30 of these. A little exhale as you drop that heel down. So we need to get a good inhale here. Exhale, drop. Inhale, exhale, drop. I like to take my hands and place them on my ribs so that I make sure I'm not puffing out my chest. If my chest is puffing out, it means my core is not doing its thing. So I wanna make sure that those ribs are staying down. Think ribs toward hips. As you exhale, you're gently lifting that pelvic floor up to return the leg. Yes, like a little tiny Kegel. Inhale, exhale. Exhale, exhale. Great job. You should be feeling this in your low abs. We're almost there, just a few more. And that is 30 reps. All right, so now we're gonna do a bird dog. And the trick is we're gonna actually take our limbs out to the side if that feels available to you. This is gonna challenge our deep core, those corset abs a little bit extra. So you're on your hands and your knees and we're gonna inhale here. We're gonna be doing 10 each of these, all right? So we're gonna start off moving our left hand and our right foot out to the side like this, all right? Here we go, we inhale here, exhale, reach across. Inhale, exhale. We've only got 10 of these, so it's not bad at all. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale. We always get the most benefit from core work when we really slow down and take our time. Three more. One, two, and three. Great job. And we're gonna do the other side. All right, so we're nice and stacked. Now we're gonna go right hand away, left hand away. All right, we got 10 more. Inhale here, exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You're doing so great. Gaze is down and out. Make sure you're not letting your neck hang. Two more. One and two. Awesome job. I love that move. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is do a little reach to really work our obliques. During pregnancy, our ribs kind of get flared um, because baby smushes everything. You might even notice you have an extra bit of a rib flare on the left side. This is really common. So we really wanna work on movements that help train us to bring our ribs down. So as you're doing this movement, I want you to think about bringing your alternate rib down like this, okay? So we're gonna come into this position. One leg out, you're on your knee. We're gonna be doing 15 on our first side and then we'll switch it and do 15 on the second side. So I want you to reach. Again, ribs are rolled down. You're not puffing them out. Roll down here. One, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I like to take my hand to actually feel that motion, right? I'm trying to actively bring my rib down. Great job. 
Nice little reach and lengthen, contract. Reach, contract. We got four more. One, two, three, and last one, four. Great job. Now we're gonna go to the other side. So same idea, right? We're gonna reach across. Our arm is by our ear, not back behind our head. Reach, down, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. It's a small range of motion. You don't have to reach much. We're just focusing on using the side body to help pull us back to that starting position. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Great job. Inhale, exhale. We got a couple more. One, two, and final one next. And three. Good job. I said a couple more and then I made you do three. I like to just play games with you. All right, so we're gonna do our bridge with a ball. Now, why do I love this for moms? I love it for a million reasons. I love it because it's gonna work our glutes. I also love it because it's gonna work our inner thighs. Our inner thighs are the anchor for our pelvis, bring so much stability to our hips. If you suffered from pelvic girdle pain at all, or just even like you just feel off and your hips constantly tight, this is such an important move for you. We're gonna roll to our side, onto our back, and we're gonna do 20 of these total. Now, a lot of some mistakes that I see are like feet are way too far out. I like to actually just kind of measure fingertips to toes here. So we're gonna inhale while we're on our back. Let it relax, seriously, don't hold your tummy. Let it go. Exhale, whoosh, rise up. Gentle squeeze of that ball as you rise up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let it go, lift it up. Let it go, lift it up. Good squeeze of that ball at the top or throw a pillow, whatever you're using. Working those inner thigh muscles. Your body's gonna be so happy that you did. This is like one of the ultimate mom core, pelvic floor, posture moves that you could be doing. Doing a great job. Squeeze at the top. Really think about lifting, drawing in at the top. We got five more. Four. Three. Two, and one. Roll to your side, come on up. I have to keep putting my hair back in the clip. It wasn't a great hair choice. All right, reverse plank is our next movement. I'm gonna show you, I think that ball's gonna come back. <laughs> you know, you don't win them all. Okay, Reverse plank, if you have wrist pain, you're gonna place your forearms up on a couch or a sofa. If it feels okay to you, you're gonna just hang out here. We've got 20 of these. You're gonna inhale, butt is down. Exhale, rise up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Think about hollowing out that tummy. You don't wanna be puffing. Ooh, yes. Again, if you have wrist pain, your forearms are up on the sofa. Chin stays tucked. Big exhale as we rise up. You should feel this through your whole posterior chain, your backside, your hamstrings, your back. We got five more. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Great job. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Final movement of our 100 rep deep core challenge. We're gonna be doing 15 reps of this on each side. Love this movement because we're gonna get some glute meat action and tons of deep core. So you're gonna come on down to your forearms. Now I want you to take your leg and cross it over your other foot. This is our starting position. We're gonna inhale here, exhale, reach it out. That's one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, 
exhale. You got 15 of these. Inhale, exhale. Great job. Trying to keep your hips as level as possible. Don't dump into this hip. Inhale, exhale. If you can't come out that far, that's okay. You can be here. That counts too. Inhale, exhale. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Shake it out. Let's hit the other side and then we've done it. We've done a hundred reps. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay, nobody's having fun. Nobody's having fun, but we're building a really strong core. So that is fun in the long run. Here we go. You're gonna sweep it, cross it. That's one. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You're doing a great job. Inhale, exhale. You got this. Inhale, exhale. All these muscles work to support our back. It helps so much with posture. Helps as we hold our kids. We want a functional body. And we're doing it here. You're almost there. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Be sure that you check out my Strong Like a Mother app. I have something on there called Slam Core, which is 10 minute or less core workouts for every level. Literally, you can put in your equipment that you have at home or just do it body weight. Choose your level, even focus on which part of your abs you wanna focus on. And it's all for diastasis recti, prolapse, incontinence, and more.